Hello everyone, Jim here. Now, I, th I thought it appropriate to do this video because we just put out the multiple soil test video um, the other day where we were talking about the sausage test, the ball test, but I want to go back to the jar test because we had issues when we first did the jar test. I don't think it was giving us accurate results. Uh, I've learned this, uh, learned how to do that method through multiple avenues on the internet, uh, through permaculture courses, but I since learned uh, another way of doing the jar test that might be more accurate. I think it was producing more accurate results. So we're gonna go through that right now. This is the jar test revamped. Now this time I put soil in the jar, but I filled it maybe to one third. Now the rest of this I'm going to fill with water and then I'm also just going to put a spoonful of liquid soap in there to make the particles a little more fluid inside the water. I can't show all the dirty dishes. But we're not going to fill them here. Okay, now I put water in my jar and then just a spoonful of the Dr. Bronner's liquid soap. Now I'm just going to shake this vigorously for about a minute or so. You want this thoroughly mixed to get all those particles loose. You don't want any chunks in there. Make sure you got your test labeled. You don't want anyone confusing this jar with like chocolate milk or anything like that. Now after about 15 seconds or so, right about now, I'm just going to mark on the jar where that uh, where the larger particles are. This is going to be an indication of where the, how much sand versus clay sand. particles are in there. Now of course that's going to shift. Now, I've just marked on the jar here after 15 seconds of where I was seeing the larger sand particles and you can see the clay particles on top here. I believe this to be a more accurate representation of what our soil looks like. Now it'll take time for the finer clay particles to settle and when it does I believe it starts to filter in to the sand particles. So you really want to kind of look at this test fairly shortly after mixing it. As you can see, this is just a short video. I just wanted to show you perhaps another method of doing the jar test. And I think this worked out very well for us. I think that's going to be a much more accurate representation. Again, it's just maybe a jar with a third of dirt. The rest of that's filled with water and then just maybe a spoonful of liquid soap. Mix it up then after 15 seconds you want to just kind of mark out where those sand particles are. The rest of that's going to be clay content. And from what I can see our clay contents looking at about around 33 percent which is fairly high. <laughs> Something we're going to have to be aware of definitely on future builds. But you can definitely use the jar test as well as the sausage test and the ball test to give you a very good, clear indication of what you're working with for earthen building. All right, thanks for joining us. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Thanks everyone, bye.